Hi, this is Sahana. In this video, we are going to learn parameterized constructor. As discussed in our previous session, constructor is a special method that gets called when an instance of a class is created. Look at this student class. This class has three properties, but there is no constructor defined for this class. In such case, C Sharp automatically creates default constructor for this class. If we don't provide any constructors in our class, C Sharp will automatically create a default constructor with no parameters for us. This default constructor initializes the object's fields to their default values. Our today's topic is parameterized constructor. In C Sharp, a parameterized constructor is a constructor that accepts parameters when an object is instantiated. Let's add parameterized constructor to this class. I will type CTOR and press tab twice this constructor will take parameters string name then int age and double grade these are the parameters this constructor will take these three parameters and it will map the values this parameterized constructor allows us to initialize the object state with the values provided during the object's creation now I will create an instance of student class. I will create student, new student. I will call parameterized constructor by passing the values. This parameterized constructor will set the initial values. Here I am printing student information. Let's test it now. Here is the output. See, this class has a parameterized constructor. What about the default constructor? Do you think C Sharp will add default constructor in this case? If you provide a parameterized constructor in your class, the default constructor will not be automatically generated by the compiler. I will show you one more example. Now I will try to create instance like this. We are getting error because it should call default constructor. But look at this class. Here we have defined parameterized constructor. We did not explicitly define default constructor. If I comment this parameterized constructor, then we will not get that error. Now compiler will add default constructor. If you want to have both the constructors, then you can explicitly add default constructor. Now I have default constructor. See, now I can create instance in both the ways. Unlike parameterized constructor, this default constructor will initialize the values to their default values. Let's verify that. I'll copy the same thing. Instead of student1, I will use student2. This is another object that we have created using default constructor. I'll change it to student2 information. This is going to be student1 information. Let's verify this. See, here is the output. This is student1 information. We have used parameterized constructor. This is student2 information. We have used default constructor or parameterless constructor. I hope now you know the difference between parameterized constructor and default constructor. In our next session, let's learn one more variation of constructor. Thanks for your time. See you soon in the next video. Thank you.